In 1985, Mercedes-Benz premiered the second generation of the popular T-models, replacing the eight-year-old version from Series 123. The new station wagons were also produced in the Bremen plant. Zindelfingen just delivered the front doors and Aufbaustufe 1, a combination of front and chassis. Technically and stylistically, the new T-model from Series 124 mostly matches the sedans it is based on. The only differences result from the rear design. The tank must be able to shift under the vehicle floor, which made modifications in the back of the floor pan necessary. Engines, brakes, and chassis were also adapted to the higher payload. The multi-link rear suspension is also installed in the T-Sedan, which comes serially with hydro-pneumatic leveling system and a damper strut front axle. Apart from the engine setup known from the E-Class sedans, the range of T-models is enhanced by a 300 TD turbo, generating 143 horsepower. For all six-cylinder models, the new 4MATIC self-engaging four-wheel drive is optional. A look through the design kit inspired the 200TE in 1988. Simultaneously, the 300TD Turbo received an upgraded engine. In the course of the initiative, Diesel 89, the engines from models 200TD, 250TD and 300TD were also modified a year later. Traditionally, the T model and sedan follow a common thread, which is particularly obvious in the interior design. Differences are only discernible in the slightly higher roof and the level loading facility in the rear. The latest results of safety research culminate in the composition of the rear body overhang, a critical area with fastback sedans. Special attention has to be paid to the tank. In case of a rear impact with a frame side rail deformation, it is pushed down but caught by tow ropes without hitting the ground. For the E Class T models, the year 1993 centered on upgrades. The new four valve technology is now installed in all five and six cylinder diesel models. Additionally, all diesels have included an exhaust gas recirculation and an oxidizing catalyst since June 1993. Externally, the modified models are recognizable by their radiator grille, which is now fully integrated into the hood. Further features, the colorless glass housings of the front blinkers, wheel trim caps and six-hole design, and new shock absorbers whose protection panes are lacquered in the car's color. From September 1993 on, the model range is top-lined by the E36 AMG. Its four-valve engine propels 265 horsepower. In 1996, production of T-models of the 124 series ceased. In about 10 years, a total of 340,503 units came into being. The series production of the follow-up model starts two months after the old one's farewell in Zindelfingen. <laughs>